Hello. You can say hello. Boop, 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 boop. Hi. Hello. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> what? Oh, thank you. What? Oh, I see. Oh, thank you. That's lovely. Hello. Hi Fable fans and welcome back to the channel. Today I just wanted to show you what I've been up to with her in regards to the move. I've just bought her her very own travel box. It is just a big cat box, um, but for a raven it's ideal. And I've basically put most of that travel box into her Avery so that she can get used to it being in her space. Now initially um, she wasn't very impressed, but I spent a little bit of time just sitting with the box to show her that it's not um, a threat to her. And today I just want to show you a little bit more about what I've been doing, excuse me, um, about what I've been doing with her to get her used to the box and to sort of show her really that it's not a threat to her. So it will look a little bit stupid at times, but basically what I'm trying to say to her is that, look, this thing's not scary. I noticed already she's been starting to put stuff in it, including her malted feathers. Yes, that's lovely. At the moment, the box is missing both its door and its roof, and I'll add those bits as we go, but I don't want to overwhelm her with something that potentially looks super scary. Scary. I want to build it up so as she gets used to each bit excuse me thank you um, as she gets <laughs> you're not making this easy as um, as she gets used to the box in its current state we'll then add different parts of it and hopefully it will make the whole move easier and end up meaning it's going to be totally stress-free when we come to the move so without further ado I will show you what we've been up to Wah, 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 wah. Can I have a kiss? 
Wah, wah, thank you. So what's really nice is that she's obviously progressed to a point where she's no longer scared of the box and she's happy to jump on and off it, which is really great. And that's taken us 15 minutes a day, which is plenty time really um, to be spending with her on it. I don't want to either get her bored or frustrated with the process. So we'll keep doing that over the next couple of weeks. Boop, 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 boop. If I can train her to be happy to go in the box herself uh, when we start the move, then it will be much easier for both Hi. me and her. Hi. So by spending the next few weeks teaching her how to use a box, how to go in and out of it, and the fact that it's not a scary thing. So when it comes to the big day, when I move her up to her new home, she won't be half as stressed because she will know that the box that she's traveling in is safe, even if she's going to a new location and a new view. She's lived on the farm her whole life, so she's never had to travel anywhere in a box before. With my falcons and my hawks, I get them used to travel box training as part of sort of 
basic initial training um, but for Fable she's always had the luxury of being here so it's something I never really considered because I hadn't really planned to move. They're often neophobic and it's something that in the wild would protect them, they're scared of new things. So when ravens are young there's a short sort of five or six month period where they're very playful and very inquisitive but as they become adults they start to realise that well I know what's safe, I know what isn't safe and if there's something new in my environment then I'm going to be pretty suspicious and questioning of what that is. So I'm having to train an adult bird to do something um, which is actually a little bit more challenging. So you'll see in the video that we make it super fun. Obviously I involve her favourite foods which is largely meat and berries. She knows that by me lying on the box, touching the box, that I think it's a safe thing and therefore it should be able to be translatable to her that it's safe for her. She's now brave enough to get her head inside the box and over the next couple of weeks I expect her to be able to go in and out without any problems. I really appreciate you guys being patient at the moment. I know the videos aren't coming out that regularly however once I moved and settled I've decided that I'm going to do this full time for you guys so I'm hoping to upload twice a week and it will be really great to share all my adventures with you so bear with me for six more weeks until I get moved uh, I will keep updating you on what's happening with that and then once all the animals and us are safely installed in our new home I will be able to get stuck into this more regularly for all of you as always thank you for watching from me Fable and all the gang if you're looking for regular little updates between the videos feel free to join us over on Facebook and Instagram and I will look forward to seeing you all very soon.